What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and today we're going to be discussing all the leaks from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that occurred in last night's data mine, and I'm incredibly excited for this game. This game is a bit controversial in the sense that a lot of people in the Pokemon community are upset, but personally, I'm really excited, and I'm super excited to announce here in this video that I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge for Brilliant Diamond on release day so stay tuned to the channel for that and of course if you're new to the channel please subscribe like the video i really appreciate it guys and i'm all hyped for gen 4 i got my badoof shirt on let's go so we're gonna start this video off with talking about shiny pokemon so what we know about shiny pokemon so far is one these starters can be shiny you can have a shiny pokemon they are not shiny locked for your starters which is awesome. The issue is you won't be able to tell if they're shiny until you actually send them out in battle for the very first time. So if you are soft resetting for a shiny, it is going to take some time to actually get it. You won't be able to see it on the screen when you pick between the three starters, unfortunately. But hey, this is an option for those shiny hunters. I really respect it. And they also remove square shinies that were implemented in Sword and Shield. As you can see in this picture of the Piplup shiny, we only have stars, no more squares. It's not in the code anymore, unfortunately, so no more square shiny hunting, but hey, at least we got shinies on the starters, right? So that's pretty cool. And shiny Pokemon will be able to follow you. So Pokemon can follow you in this game after you hit the third gym. And if they are shiny, they'll show up shiny, just like this Crobat right here. I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's awesome. And I really like how the new models look in this game. They actually redid the models for this game in particular. And they did, uh, they made a new 2D sprites as well. So there was a big dump on all of that. So that, it, it honestly looks really great overall. Even with the chibi look, I'm a big fan. And then diving into the underground. And the underground is a massive part of this game. It's honestly probably the biggest part of this game. And it's where all the interesting content really comes up in my opinion. So in the underground, we'll be able to put up these statues. And as you can see, we got tons of statues to put up. Uh, when, from what I was reading, people were able to put up like 52 statues uh, pretty early in the game, like two hours just from playing in the underground. And each statue represents a different Pokemon. And if you put up the statue, you'll be able to get that Pokemon to spawn for you. And it will also show up other Pokemon like based on that type combination. A lot of important things from here is one, the Platinum Rotom event is added in the game, but not as an actual Platinum event, but they're just added into the underground. As you can see, we got Rotom uh, Mo and we got Rotom Fan here. So there we go, Rotoms all for, so we can all get our Rotoms, all the different types very easily. Something that is awesome about the statue list is in the Grand Underground, all the Pokemon that are in Platinum have appeared here which is phenomenal so the route the route encounters like 201 202 203 and so on and so forth those are the diamond and uh, pearl encounters so you will not see platinum pokemon in those in the grass however once you get access to the grand underground which is actually relatively early in the game uh it's about like halfway i believe and you'll be able just to catch all the platinum pokemon including baby pokemon which is really cool i'm very excited for that but yeah, so this game is going to be great and very easy to actually complete, especially on just one version of the game, as you'll be able to catch a lot of the Pokemon in just one file. As you can see, here's a picture of the Grand Underground, and we'll be able to see in the top left corner here that we have a magma area, and this is going to be, okay, fire types, and you can change these based on the different statues you put up. And actually, funny enough, this is a screenshot from Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond, and originally in Diamond version, it was impossible to catch Houndoom, as Houndoom was a Pearl exclusive Pokemon, but Houndoom is now confirmed to be in Diamond, which is phenomenal. And as you can see, this is a level 20 Pokemon, and our partner's Pokemon is uh, level 16. So actually, I believe this is probably maybe, for, probably by the second gym, you can actually explore the underground and start farming up all the cool Pokemon for your team, which is phenomenal. But the most important thing is this, this is a Houndoom. So the exclusive list is very limited from what I can see. And currently it looks it looks just so limited, honestly. And we'll get into that in a moment. But first I wanna bring up that Togepi was a platinum event. When you beat Cynthia, she gave you an egg that was Togepi. Well, now you can just straight up catch Togepi. And all the babies are catchable in the underground. So that's really cool. I like how they're moving the platinum events into the underground, just making it all in one place. That's awesome. 
Also, this is something you can definitely try to shiny hunt. And we don't have an exact shiny hunt method, but I personally have seen so many people get shinies so far from screenshots that it may be actually easy to get shinies in this game, but we'll see. And here is the confirmed list of exclusives. At this moment, this list could be uh, expanded on or even removed a little bit, but there's very little exclusives right now in uh, Diamond and Pearl. So the big for Diamond, we get a uh, Rampardos line, Stung Tank line, Dialga, and then for uh, Pearl, we're gonna be getting Bastiodon and Perugly and Palkia. This is a very incredibly small list, which means this is gonna be very easy decks to complete. You're only gonna have to be able to do like honestly like three trades to do it. So if you have a friend. You can just trade with them or hey, maybe if you don't have friends, there's gonna be different ways to trade with people because that's right. Wonder Trade is being brought back to the Pokemon games, just like in Sword and Shield. They changed the name of Wonder Trade, but it's, all, it's not Surprise Trade. Now it's back to Wonder Trade, so it's all good. So yeah, we can just Wonder Trade, shoot our Pokemon around. So I assume we're gonna be seeing a lot of like basic like Starlies and Bedus in the beginning, but eventually I think we're gonna be start seeing some of the version exclusive Pokemon being taught up, uh, thrown up there. So that's really cool. And a big surprise guys, big surprise, big spoilers here. You can get a Mew and a Jirachi at the very like beginning of the game. I believe around the second gym or even the first gym. Actually, yeah, this is like around the between the first and second gym. You can get your Mew and Jirachi. So how do you get Mew and Jirachi? One, I will say they are shiny locked. That is very important. So don't no need to soft reset for these. The way you get Mew is if on your switch on that switch profile, you need to have a save for let's go Pikachu or Eevee. And it seems for Jirachi, you need to have a save on your switch profile for either sword or shield. So most Pokemon fans will already have these. So I got these, so I can't wait to pick these up and use them. I'm very excited. Unfortunately, they are shiny locked, but and there's no way to actually catch them in the game outside of this event. But it's cool that they're in the game like this. And it's really cool that they're actually adding all the legendaries in the game and most mythicals to this game as well. And we actually have a list of all of them in the game here. So in Brilliant Diamond, Shine, Pearl, you'll be able to get Articuno, Zathos, Moltres, Raikou, Entei, Suicune, Latios, Latios, Oho, Lugia, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Regirock, Regice, Registeel, and Garatina. So notably missing is there's no Deoxys in the game that's catchable. There is no uh, like Celebi as a mythical. I may be event for some of these Pokemon, right? And there's a couple more like, yeah, Deoxys. Uh, there is apparently a Shaman event in the code, but we don't know if that's accessible. That may be a future event that they would have to release a patch for but currently this is what is in the game right now and you can actually catch all these pokemon in the uh post game in the national park the thing is all these pokemon require a special item to use so when you're digging around in the underground you pick up items well some of the items will be used to summon these pokemon i believe there's like a kanto plate or a johto plate something like that and then when you use it in the national park it will actually spawn one of these Pokemon from it. And yes, the legendaries are all catchable and shiny huntable. We don't know what the best method is yet, but you can catch them and they can be shiny. They're not shiny locks, so that's fantastic. And here is Garatina. Garatina is in their own special room, just like in uh, Platinum. So that's really cool. The rest of the Pokemon are National Park, but Garatina does have its sort of its own event, which is pretty sweet. And a couple things I miss going over, some small things. However, they're pretty big. Uh, there is gym leader rematches, which is really cool. However, the gym leaders and trainers are using their diamond and pearl teams and not their platinum teams, which is unfortunate. Another big thing is that there is the battle tower, and the battle tower apparently has sort of a really high difficulty spike, which is pretty interesting. And gym leaders will make an appearance there as well. I believe you can also rematch the elite four. So that's really awesome. And let's just double check. Is there anything else I am missing here? Seems like, yeah, you could do trainer rematches as well, which is pretty sweet. And the Pokey Radar is in the game. Currently, it is not possible to get regional forms, but there's a rumor that you can get regional forms later in the game. So we'll see what happens, guys. But hopefully when the day one patch comes out on November 19th for Brilliant Diamond and uh, Shining Pearl, we'll get even more information. But currently, this game is fantastic. 
I'm playing a copy right now myself, and I'm having a great time. So guys, look forward to this, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Panfro Games action. Peace out, and have a great one.